everyone. As you can see, we have a big box here. This is um, another haul from Value.jp. But surprisingly, there's only actually six, like, one items in here. But a couple of the items are like multiple items in one. Um, of the six things, only two are actually doll related. So I will open those up first. One is an actual doll. And one's just like a piece of clothing. The other things, not doll. So I'll tell you at what point, you know, there's no more doll stuff. Um, I'm going to move this box off the table as soon as I get it open. And I will tell you, um, I had some sales in the last uh, couple of weeks. I think they're just ramping up, getting ready for the holidays. It's interesting that a, uh, you know, proxy website would offer sales, but they've been doing, I think they are so successful now that they can offer, like, discounts to, you know, different ways of shopping on their site. So, I'm just going to kind of pull this stuff aside. Um, there are these typical envelopes. I think by packages these, these like this. They, they take the things out of the shipping boxes and then they put them in envelopes and then they label them so that they know who, what I belong to who. Um, and then one thing, it looks like, so I had this lot of things that was like, basically it looked like little towels or like cloth things for anime. And I think they use that to package it because they're all loose in here. But the interesting thing is, is the one, the thing that I wanted out of that lot, which drew me to that lot, was um, a Chubbix thing. So that was right on top. You can see Chi there. I think this is supposed to be a pillow. And it is like vacuum dried, sucked flat. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm just going to take out the rest of these. Like, you can see it's a bunch of like cloth things. So I'm going to set those aside. They're like all anime related, and so it'll be interesting to go through them and see exactly what all was in that lot, because it was huge. There's like a bunch of fabric things. I just dropped one. Some of it might actually be clothes. I don't know. This I will definitely like do at the end. There's even what appears to be a bag or a purse in here, which is interesting. I might have gotten more than I bargained for with that lot. And I don't even think it was like that expensive. Like the, the thing that I wanted, that little Chobits thing. Um, you know, other people were selling it for the Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. I said there was only six things, right? Well, there's like a million things in this one lot. Um, anyway, that little Chobits thing that I wanted, other people were selling it for the price of this whole lot. And so I just did on the lot. And there's just a ton of things here. Oh my gosh, is there socks? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I hope I'm not blocking the entire screen with all this stuff. But so far, it seems okay. All right. Um, I don't know if that sucks or not. That's a lot of stuff. All right. Um, the other... So, like, <laughs> that was one whole lot. And then the two green envelopes were things. And then these two things are not doll-related. So I was going to open them at the end. But this is the doll, which is why this box is so huge. I think I'm actually going to set it here. Oh my gosh, if I can get it out here. Sorry. Here it is. All right, I'm going to move this box out of the way. And hopefully you guys can hear me because I really set my phone pretty far away. So I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, so I think this is the other doll related thing besides the actual doll. So I think I'll open that up and that's why I had my little Miss Nijiko over here because it's a piece, of, a piece of clothing. 
And so I figured I would open that up first for all of my dolly watchers out there. Yeah, this is the doll cool lighting item. It's really cute. And I actually opened something kind of similar not too long ago, but not exactly the same. It's like a teddy bear hoodie. Look, I'm so far away. I hope you guys can see this okay. So it's like a jacket and it has kind of like ribbed sleeves and like a ribbed bottom, but then it's a zip up hoodie and the hood has little um, teddy bear ears. So I thought I could try this on my Miss Nijiko here. And it definitely looks handmade. It's like the fur is the inside lining as well. Um, but it's a really light color, so I'm not really worried about color transference or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to try it on her and see how it fits. It was just, I think it was kind of just labeled as, um, you know, for one third size dolls. So I'm sure it'll fit. Just how well it fits is the question. So I'm just going to pop her hands off here. I'm like sitting right in front of the window where my where I usually watch out for my kiddo's bus to get home. So hopefully I won't I'll be done with this before he gets done, but or before he gets home, so I don't have to interrupt my recording here. And move her beautiful rainbow hair aside. Well, it looks like one of it one of the little strands got caught in the little necklace she's wearing, but that's okay. Alright, so sliding it right on up over her arms. Nice and easy. And move her colorful hair back. And we'll zip it up. And I'll put her hands back on. Let's see how this looks. Because it looks actually um, pretty decently sized, I think. Definitely want to try the hood on because that's really where the cuteness comes in. I mean, it's a, it's a nice little jacket. It definitely works as like a fall or winter thing. Um, but let's see what it looks like with the hood up. So the sleeve length is decent. Um, I'm gonna kind of pull her hair apart here. And put this adorable little hood up. <laughs> her rainbow wig kind of gets in the way, but there she is. Let me bring it closer so you guys can see. Yeah, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, and it even has a little bear tail on the back. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, pretty cute. All right, so I'm going to actually move her aside so I can open up that doll. So Miss Nijiko will go over here. Hopefully she won't fall. All right, now this doll, I got her relatively inexpensive for a um, one-third size doll. The thing of it is I bought her thinking that I could use her body for um, like one of my floating smart doll heads because I thought that's what it was. I thought it was a body um, with the outfit that came with the doll originally but it's a whole doll and I feel kind of bad about breaking it up. And when I posted about it, asking if anybody was, sorry, hang on. When I posted asking if anybody was familiar with this type of doll, a lot of people had never heard of it and were really interested because it's a specific character from, I don't know, a video game, an anime, something. And a couple of people were very kind to actually give me the link to the company that makes these dolls and I kind of checked it out and they do have really great dolls and <clears throat> on average it looked about like they ranged from anywhere from like I I'm gonna say it wrong but like uh, whatever the yen translation rate is it's like maybe about like 300 to 600 um, dollars like US dollars so they're, they're less expensive dolls. Maybe they're on par pricing wise with like the Volks basic dolls, maybe not the character dolls, but she was an auction item. So um, I got her for like 
not not even that much like less than their base price which is good so I got a deal on her I guess um, but without further ado let me just show you what it is so it's called the company is Pans Doll P-A-N-S Doll and then this is the character I guess is Atelier Totori I don't know if any of you are familiar with that um, her head is kind of turned around backwards her head is there but it's kind of wrapped in hair um, let me show you the back. So there's like an anime image of her. I don't know if that is from a video game or what. She's really cute. And I just thought that maybe I could use her body, like I said, for a um, smart doll head, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll be willing to break her apart from her. from her set and a lot of people were like really interested in this character um I almost feel like I should just sell you know sell her on to somebody who really wants her let me show you guys this image a little bit closer do any of you know that character Atelier Totori she's really cute and the boxing is cool it's like it reminds me of like I don't know, the fancy Christmas Barbies that come in their big boxes with the big cellophane window. All right, so I don't know how old she is either. But let me show you her head because it's not even connected to her body. Oh, she is kind of cute. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I always buy dolls with the good intention of doing something with them like other than what they were intended for and um oh gosh i'm gonna try to lock the lighting here there we go let me it'll stop fluctuating so she got a nice little wig i'm gonna pop this off just to see what her entire face looks like pretty simple the eyes are kind of like they look a little faded so i wonder if whoever owned her um Maybe had her facing towards the sunlight, or maybe that's just the eyes in general. Um, the I'm trying to just pop off the head cap here just to see, but I don't really know. It doesn't. It almost feels like a twist off. I can't. I can't just pull it off. I don't know. I don't want to break it. So this is Pan's doll P D A dash zero zero one. It has pretty standard neck hole. I wonder if this is the first pan doll. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> but also, no, I don't, I really wasn't intending to keep this character, but gosh, she's kind of cute, you guys. I don't know. All right, so there's a couple of, let's see. Um, she's being held down here. All right, let's see. There's some interesting packaging here. All right, let's see if that makes her come up. Oh, no, she's got a, like a bungee cord stretching thing across her lower legs and her neck. And it's just to keep her in the container here. And then it looks like her legs kind of snapped into place there. It's a couple of things. Let's see if she stands up. You know I love doing a stand-up test. There's a little purse, which is really kind of detailed and really cute. She stands, you guys. All right. And then there's a couple of things, like, taped underneath, which make me wonder how much this doll was really used. Because it looks like the original, I don't know, it looks kind of like the original packaging. Oh! So this one came with this big, huge styrofoam thing underneath, and I bet that not necessarily all the dolls come with that because there's a weapon hidden inside. I don't know if it's a weapon. I don't know this character. A nice little thing from Pan's doll here. I don't know what that says. But looky here, you guys. Look at this. 
You see that? It's like a heart-shaped stash. Let's see if I can get this out. It is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at the details there, you guys. It's like a big ruby. A big gem. The, the bottom of the staff there. It's definitely pretty good size. Matches the doll well. It's not heavy. So, you know, it's not, I don't know what it's made out of. Probably vinyl or, um, you know, plastics. Maybe the staff might be. Nah, it feels plasticky too. I was going to say maybe it's wood, but definitely all feels plasticky. And then there was the bottom styrofoam, which had the cutout for the um, staff there. Um, I'm just going to scooch closer this way so maybe you guys can hear me just a little bit better. Um, she stands, which is great. She has boots on, a full-on outfit, which looks, I don't know, a little bit frumpy, but maybe it's because it's loose on her. And this purse, I'm just going to pop this off over her arm here. I doubt that she's a frumpy character. Is there ever such thing as a frumpy anime character? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> maybe it's, it looks like it's supposed to come off of her shoulders like that. And there's this big bow at the back, which kind of looks a little squished, probably because she's been laying in her box for who knows how long. Um, the front corset area is maybe also a little wrinkled, but the overall condition of this outfit is really good. It just looks like a little bit kind of crimped or squished, you know, just from laying in the position it was in. Um, her hands, you know, this body is very similar to Smart Doll, I would say. Um, obviously not the exact same shape or whatever. The neck joint is very similar to Volt's. It's kind of just a peg that comes out. I will note that uh, her arm seems a little loose here. It could be that this needs to be kind of crammed back in, but the other arm stays up, which is good. This neck joint is decent. Let's just pop our head on and see if it goes on okay. I don't see any cracks or anything there, so that's good. Try not to catch our hair on this. All right, y'all know I always have to bring these down to my level so I can see what I'm doing here. There we go. I don't know how her hair is supposed to look, but like her bangs are kind of covering one of her eyes. Darn it, you guys, she's cute. I wanted to use this body. It definitely, the skin tone is very similar to uh, Smart Doll Cinnamon. I would say maybe a shade lighter. So you can see her legs are pretty good. There's a small mark on the back of one of the calves. Um, the zippers on the back of these boots are good. Legs are holding their um, uh, pose there. She's got an over on, it's all good. Let's see, pretty good joint there. I can feel like it catches kind of um, when you bend her legs at the hips, so it's like there must be a, a way to like make her sit like that. So. She's got kind of the same posture going on as a smart doll. Um, it's very easy to tilt her head up and down because of that joint or that peg. Um, really, her whatever her age is, um, she's really in pretty darn good condition. The only thing I'm actually seeing is like the faded eyes. There's a little, like I said, a little spot on her uh, calf and then the one arm being a little loose but overall she's pretty cute let me get you guys close up here look at her isn't she kind of cute the outfit's really cute it does need a little bit of pressing probably so that it like stays how it's meant to be but she's got these cute little frills going on and then she's got these extra things here besides the staff um she has this little purse, which has like a little sun and moon on it, and like these little charms. There's like a little 
seashell and like a green little bottle or something. And then you saw the staff and then there's these extra things. I'm just going to go ahead and open them. I don't know what they are. I don't know this character very well. One of them looks like it could be a hat. And the other one, I don't know, maybe like arm pieces. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, this is really beautiful. So it's like a frilly hat, but it's like resin too. It matches like the gemstone on her staff. And you can see it kind of has that like frill that matches her skirt. Let's see if I can. Okay, I don't know what happened. My video stopped recording, so maybe my alarm did mess up my recording. Um, if it cut off, I opened up a headdress for her and then these two like gauntlet things, which I think probably must go over her legs because they're pretty big. Like I can fit my thumb through there. Um, I'm guessing they must slide up over her legs because they have like these little ties at the back. That's really neat. This doll is actually really cool. Um, even though I said the eyes looked kind of faded, maybe that's how she looks in her game slash anime. I don't know. She's really cute. I wasn't going to keep her. <laughs> I wanted to just use her body, but now I might keep her and learn about her. So that is the Pan's doll. Atelier Totori. On the side it says, The Adventure of Ireland. Adventurer of Ireland. So she's an adventurer. That's really cool. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it for the doll stuff, okay? You guys, so let me slide her off because I don't want to knock her over while I'm doing the rest of this video. Um, she is really cool. I don't know, I might have to really consider her. I'm pretty sure that's the rest of the doll stuff. Okay, so now I got my two, my uh, smart doll and my, this Atelier girl. Here, let me show you guys. Sitting right over here. They actually, they look pretty similar, right? In skin tone? Similar in height? I mean, they're probably Almost the exact same size would be my guess. Sorry, my hand is in the way. All right, so I'm gonna move her staff too. Um, I'm just gonna sit. <laughs> I'm like creeping closer every time I move. Um, she's really cool. All right, I'm just gonna open up the rest of the stuff and go through it. The rest of the stuff, like I said, is not. Uh, doll stuff so if you are good with that that's all there is this is a nendroid body I actually uh, found this for like pretty inexpensive which is really great because I couldn't find it I mean pretty inexpensive on buy because I couldn't find it without its full set like on eBay or other resale um, nendroid parts uh, like just to, that I could get closer to home like in the USA and all that but the body I got I'll, I'll put the number of it um, in my video description I think this dress is pretty much spot on for Chi from Chobits it is like a black or a navy navy I think so it needs to be painted brown but otherwise the shape of it is pretty much exactly what she wears for the majority of the anime which is that brown like school uniform the lapels like the collar you might need like a red stripe and i know i know i say i'm gonna paint these things and i haven't yet painted a single thing but i have the tools and she is my big motivation so hopefully i can actually get that to be uh, a thing for her. Um, before I go into all these like clothing or soft cloth things, um, this is a bundle of like, um, they're like matchbox cards. I know I've probably uh, opened up 
not open up on video because I get them for my son. They're like Matchbox or Hot Wheels, but it's the company is, I want to say Tomia or something like that. And I feel like they're a little bit um, nicer style. I don't know because I see lots for these go for sale on Buy You like a lot or even individual cars. And single individual cars go for a lot, like large dollar amounts. So I feel like these are pretty collectible, but I just give them to my son because he likes cars and I get them in lots like this where they're pretty cheap. So I don't know the relative collectability of them, but my kiddo likes cars. Um, this is a Figma, which is my probably second complete Figma ever. The other one I have is actually Mirai Sanaga from Smart Doll. Um, which I have two of her. One I got as like a loose figure at, as like a surprise from Smart Doll one time when they were like clearing out their office. I'm sure that's in one of my box openings. But I got an actual boxed figure of her. And this one I got is um, Super Sonico. So there she is. I totally would love to own this doll. She was made as a doll with this outfit, I think, um, for Angelphilia. And I've seen her come up for sale here or there, and I just adore her. I think this character is really cute. I don't really know her anime, um, but I just, I like her body shape. She's kind of similar to me. I'm not, like, skinny as her, but she's just a bigger girl, I think, and so I kind of like that. She's just cute and adorable, and you all know I love pink-haired girls, so there she is. All right, um... Now I'm going to flip through all of these clothing, or I don't think they're clothes. They're like soft things. I have all this stuff here. Oh my gosh, this like stack is about to fall off. I'm going to move it over there so it doesn't fall off this chair that's next to me. I'm going to move the chair. I'm just going to get closer here and flip through all of these things. Because I honestly don't even know what all this stuff is. Okay, so this I recognize. Stormtroopers. It looks like a, a hood shawl thing. There's the image you see there. It's like on a person. Oh my gosh, does it have, look at, it must have um, Darth Vader in there. <laughs> that I could take to work, that's kind of funny. My work has little individual heaters underneath the desks that we sit at, but sometimes they point funny or it's just cold in there. And so that would be kind of fun to take to work. Um, this looks like a bag. It says the Heiko Kinnon. I'm not going to open up each one of these because almost all of them are in like cellophane wrappers. And that would just take me too long. Um, but here's the tag. The Heiko Kinnon. I don't know. Let's see. This is definitely some anime. Oh, it says Ren... Kizaki. Oh, the Idol Master Side M. So, maybe these are, oh, this kind of looks like a, a pillowcase, maybe. Um, it has a zipper right there at the top. Small pillow, I don't know. So, there's a bunch of these things. It has, oh, it's to slip your phone in. <laughs> it says mobile, MP3, or camera. And it has a, a, like a D-ring clip and then this cute little character. It looks like a sock on a clip, but you can see on the tag there, it says, put your stuff in here. M Pocket, Ye Yeo Paka. That must be the character. There's a bunch of those. There's like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. Oh, dang it. I don't have nine things to put in pockets. I don't know. Let me just move those over. This looks to be another little bag of some sort. Bandai Spirits. So if you look on the back on this tag, there's like a letter F. Um, if you are familiar with like gotcha things uh, from Japan, you know, or like, what are they called, like lottery prizes or something, um, they letter them, like A through whatever, and then I think the point is to try to collect them all or to get the one you want or whatever the case may be. I don't know this character. It looks like a cat in a chicken outfit. 
Um, this is another Bandai thing, Bandai Spirit. Uh, My Hero Academia. It's taped though. It looks like a little hand towel. I don't know. This looks like Naruto. I know any anybody who's lived in like the last twenty years knows Naruto, right? I mean, he's almost. Oh look, I should give this to Charlotte. I know she loves Naruto. Look, it has her two favorite characters on there. What's what's this character's name? It's Naruto's mm, wife, love interest, girlfriend. I don't know. I have not seen the anime nor read the manga, um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Charlotte's one of the people I know on Facebook. This says show to something more of something. I don't know. Probably some character's name. Um, I'm looking at the tags for like titles here. Reload zero in. I don't know. Anybody recognize that character? Some of these, oh, this looks like it could be a tapestry because it has like the slot at the top to slide a, a hanging bar through. Um, oh, Spy X Family. It's a washcloth, it looks like maybe, or just a hand towel of some sort. <laughs> I really think this entire lot of like a million pieces here, okay, it's not a million pieces, but it's a lot, um, cost me like $25. And I really just wanted. The Chobits one, which is like on the bottom here, because it's the first thing I took out of the box. This is kind of cool. Um, this is by Loungefly, and I know Loungefly isn't cheap. It's Star Wars. It's a little Darth Vader, um, <laughs> I don't know, wallet or something. Let's open it up, Let's see what's in there. There's just a silica gel packet in there, and the inside has like. Um, the Star Wars logo fabric. I guess that would be something you would just hand carry or maybe throw in your purse. I don't know. Did you guys see that? Loungefly? Like, I've never owned anything from Loungefly. I love the looks of stuff from Loungefly. That's kind of expensive, so I feel like I got a good deal on that. Here's another cute little washcloth also characters I do not know. Um, mask case. Oh, to put our face coverings in. Okay, so like here in the USA, people don't really use their masks anymore. Not like we did for like the year or two um, when COVID first came out. People are still wearing them. I see from time to time probably people who are sick or just people in uh, industries like retail and stuff where they're exposed to a lot of people. Um, but you can see the picture there. It shows like a little mask being slipped into a little case. That's cool. It's like, you know, here, reuse your mask. And here's a cute little anime character case to put it in. Um, it says, Sukita, Suki, Sukiuta, the animation. It looks like boy singers. I don't know. Um, here's another little drawstring bag. Looks like a fox. <laughs> That's cute. Maybe I'll give that to my kiddo. Um, another character I don't recognize. This definitely looks like a little bit bigger of a towel or something. It's really soft. It's open on the top. Very nice. Um, a lot of these say Bandai on them, so I just wonder if, like, this is somebody's collection or like Bandai was just like giving away stuff or they threw it away. I don't know. Um, Ichiban Kuji, Summer Memories. Anybody recognize that character? That character? This could be, um, I don't know, a bag, a pillow case, a tapestry. Here's a clear, plasticky feeling bag. This is actually kind of neat. Um, I don't know how big it is. It doesn't look that super big, but maybe I could use it to carry some doll stuff in. It has like a print, but it's like a clear vinyl. Kind of cool. 
This was the same as the other one, the My Hero Academia thing. We already saw that. This, I recognize these. Um, oh, here we go. Puella Magica Madoka. No, Puella Magi Madoka Magica. It's like a little, like, vinyl coin purse. Coin purse, I don't know. And there's the back. I recognize those because I saw that before I saw the characters. And it has the name of the anime on the front, so. Okay, this is... <laughs> I don't know this character. I, I feel like I recognize it. Karamatsu 2. But it's a purse, you guys. It's a ginormous heart-shaped purse. Or a bag, maybe a book bag. There's the strap, and it has the connector points right here and here. <laughs> I, I don't know what I would do with this. I don't think I would use this. It's cute, but it's not for me. Here's a, this is a nice looking purse. What does this say? Okay, the Idol Master, original stars. It's a very shiny blue vinyl purse. When I first took it out of the box, I thought it was black, but it's definitely very blue. Um, it has that like metal plate, which still has like the protective peely sticker on it. I wonder if it has the strap inside the bag. It's a cute looking purse. Alright, what is this? Nanoha Takamachi. I can't really see the character. That's what it looks like it says, though. This is cool. I could use this. Um, this looks like an eyeglass cleaner. I don't know those characters either. I mean, I don't actually use glasses, but my son and my husband do, so they can have it. The Idol Master Side M, did we already see this one? Or maybe this is a different character? I don't know. Jiro Yan Yamashita. So, I think that is a different character. Alright, um, cute little square cloth thing. I don't know this character. This Idea Factory Design Factory. Clock Zero. Blank on the black. Blank on the back. There's a second one. Same exact thing. This is cute. Kupinchan. Zuto Nakayoshi. Just like a kind of like a makeup zippered bag at the top there. Another one of those uh, eyeglass things. I don't know this character. <laughs> what do people in Japan do with all these like little towels? I don't know. I'm just going to kind of flip through these because I don't know any of these characters and I'm probably messing up their names. If I recognize any of them, I'll let you know. Is my lighting going through? Why does it keep turning off? Because I have to keep restarting this. Um, I don't know. Sorry, you guys. Alright, hopefully that helps. This is cute. Little dog. Is that from a series? I don't know. That's really adorable, though. I wish that um, people in my family liked anime as much as I did, because I like to give everybody some of these things for Christmas. More Idol Master stuff. I don't even know what Idol Master is. I mean, I've heard of it, and I've seen like, you know, the characters and stuff, but. I've never seen the anime or whatever it might be, video game, manga, whatever. This is cute. Suki Tomo, Six Gravity and Porcelarum. I do like the canvas bags, but that's kind of small. I don't. What would you even put in there? <laughs> Here's another one. This is more looks more like kitty-ish. It almost looks like it has animal crackers on the back there. Isn't that what that looks like? Animal crackers? Alright. Oh my gosh. There's still this big huge pile over here. <laughs> I really should count and see how many items are in here. I feel like there's been like 40 things already. Okay. This is Full Metal Alchemist. I know that one. I even watched like one episode of it once upon a time. Oh, there's another one of those Star Wars things. Did I put this over here? Yep, there's two of these. 
Maybe I can give somebody something for Christmas out of this pile. Basketball looking character. Another character has their name on them. This looks like a little bag. A drawstring bag maybe? Yeah. This has like a little hook on it says rule the stage track two at stellar ball. It looks like a um, bandana. But here's this little like clip thing. Kind of looks like a record. I don't know. Oh, Rila Kuma. I know that. This is like a little Rila Kuma print bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much here. I don't even know any of these characters, really. I mean, I recognize a few of them. What am I going to do with all this stuff, you guys? I'm going to have to trade it, sell it, give it away. I don't know. Roger Will Kresnick L. Mel Mata. <sighs> Idol Master again. Now we're getting into what looks like bigger towels. Buy.jp was smart. They took all this out of the packaging and used it as um, like packing material for that doll and the other couple things that I got. Um, Oh my gosh, <laughs> there's so much here. What am I going to do with all this stuff? There's a couple of those. Same exact thing. Oh look, now oh, this is cool. It's a t-shirt. Tiger and Bunny. I've heard of that. It has a green print, green printed tie on it. Oh, it says it's a medium. That probably won't fit me. Boo. It's really cute though. That almost looks like a small blanket. Do people in Japan give all these anime blankets that are smallish to, like, babies? <laughs> Somebody tell me what to do with all this stuff. Okay, this looks like a towel or a blanket. Has some cute characters on it. Um, this says blanket on it. Dan Board Mayer Blanket. It's like that little box character. I wonder if it's the same kind of, um thing is the Star Wars where it had like the hood and then the little shoulder shawl. Here is, I know this character, it's Anya. Spy its family. Looks like a towel, blanket, I don't know, something. I have not watched Spy its family either. I just haven't, no time, no time for all these animes. Oh, Angel Beats. I don't know that either. I read it on the back, but like, I remember hearing that, um, anime name. Alright, these last two things. Last two things. This is really cute. This is really cool. Life is beautiful. Science. Mathematics. Wow. It's also the Idol Master. I thought the Idol Master was about singing, but they like science and math. <laughs> Alright, and finally, the thing, the whole reason why I bought this ginormous lot was this. This cute little Chobit pillow. It is a pillow, I think. Like, it's vacuum sealed, but I can tell that it has, like, a little bit of puff to it. I want to take it out. I don't want it to be vacuum sealed forever. Is that how they actually sent it? Because the, um, label is on the back for it. You see it says clamp right there. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm taking it out. I have a couple of Chobits pillows now, and the one that I keep, be free pillow. Look, it's puffing right up. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> she looks a little wrinkly. There it is. So that is one of their art images from either one of their art books. I know it's in the collectible cards, art cards that they released for Tobits. Um, it's just Chi kind of sitting on top of a pile of underwear because it's kind of a funny point in the anime. This anime is like 20 plus years old probably by now. Um, 
but they are kind of doing like an anniversary release of some goodies, which is why I think this pillow is out and about because I've seen a couple of people sell it, which is good for me because I pretty much have all things Tobits. You guys know I love Tobits. I don't know what this is, just something that was in the packaging. Maybe my dolls can use this as a bed and they can just snuggle chi. Um, it's really cute. It is a little wrinkly, but maybe with time it'll puff back up. I mean, it's pretty puffed already, but um, maybe it'll smooth out. All right, so that's everything. That was a huge pile of stuff. Please comment and tell me, what is all this stuff for? What do people use these mini blankets for? These mini, like, I get like hand towels and stuff, but like, how many washcloths does a person need? I don't know. Um, all right, that's it. I'm going to stop the video, but anybody who saw anything in this heap that you're like, oh my gosh, I love that character. She has no idea what that character is. I think that's so cute. Open it up and let me see what it is because I want it. Let me know. Comment because I just want to cheat. That's all I really wanted. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of this stuff. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.